Hi there everybody, so in today's video I have this uh, 1.416 valve uh, VW Polo This is a 2003-2002 um, And I'm going to be changing the oil and the oil filter So to start, I just open this uh, cup here And also I just uh, pull the dipstick there Pull that open now I'm gonna get the car up and um, I think you can tackle the filter from underneath or from up here but it might be easier from underneath so we're gonna have a look at that okay so looking at the car from underneath we have the engine sump just sitting there next to the um, exhaust and um, that is the arrangement of the car there so and I already have my socket in there that's a 19 mil a 19 mil socket that's a bit tight okay. just uh, crack that open and make sure you have an oil pan the oil and if um, the engine has been running the oil could be very hot so be careful not to burn yourself you could always uh, let it cool down a little bit we let that drain while we um, tackle the oil filter which uh, is probably a lot easier to do it from here so that is just sitting it's sitting up there and I've got my um, wrench on it It's a 27 mil. That's the filter there. It's a 27 mil um, socket that you can use for that. And you're also going to get some oil dripping from there, so you can move your oil pan a little bit. And then we're going to undo that filter. which is a little bit tight um, I don't think it's that tight normally but it seems to be today And uh, we can just, we need to just wiggle that out of there. Still a little bit of oil coming out of that filter. We'll let it drip a bit and then um, it's a matter of uh, finding the little gap to get it out between the um, exhaust and the, and the other side of the engine bits there. Okay, so <clears throat> in the end that didn't come out through that gap there, but um, 
if you saw me moving that filter out, it uh, came out through here and through this space here between the um, exhaust here and these fans, radiator fans or aircon fans. Um, so it came out through here rather than rather than through here. And also, um, this is the new filter here. That is uh, from Wix, and it's a WL7203. And it kind of has a few instructions in there. Uh, it's just saying clean the uh, area where the filter is going to go into. Put some oil onto the um, filter, um, and we'll add a bit of grease here. And then use your hand to tighten this and for uh, plus three quarters of a turn. So once you finish tightening with your hand, you um, give it an extra three, plus three quarters, which is not really a lot. So you can put your tool in there and just turn it three quarters. So I'm going to um, clean the area a little bit with some uh, clutch and uh, brake cleaning fluid. It really cleans uh, oil very well. Okay, so um, here's my filter. I got some uh, grease here onto the um, this rubber gasket. I added a little bit of oil, not much, because otherwise it will come out considering the angle that we have to go in. And then I'm going up through here, through the um, this radiator fan and exhaust there. That's the way I'm gonna go into the uh, Okay, so that's in place now. Not sure if that can be seen or not, but... Um, that's where the filter is. It isn't really that easy to get your hand in there to hand tight this uh, filter, but you can only do your best. Yeah. Tight it by hand as much as you can. Okay, now I'm gonna use the tool The one that came out was a 27mm uh, but this seems to have a slightly bigger and, and 
and that's it that's pretty much it now once you uh, top up with oil and you run the engine if you see any uh, little drips from there you can always tighten that a little bit more but um, no oil should really come out of there once you once you've tightened it with a um, with a wrench a little bit I mean uh, I can still carry on tightening that with a wrench but uh, that could damage the thread and that would be a huge problem that's why I only gave it three three small turns and then you can check for leaks, most leaks will be there, right where that little mark is which I have to clean and now we can also close the sump plug so I just got the sump plug back in there back in here and tighten that up again once it's tight you don't need to over tighten that at all now I'm gonna lower the car and we can add some oil to it okay so um, I had a look at the manual earlier on and uh, this engine the 1.4 four cylinder takes uh, 3.7 liters um, but you can always obviously if you haven't got a manual you can verify that by checking on the dipstick they recommend 5w30 and you can also check what oil and how much quantity at your uh, auto store, whatever you buy your oil from on the, or filter they'll be able to tell you how much uh, oil goes in there um, 5w40 okay so so far I've put Three liters. Um, it the manual states 3.7 liters. If you're changing the oil filter as well, because some of the oil goes into the oil filter. Um, if you didn't change the oil filter, then it'll be, I think it's around 3.4 liters, 3.3 liters. Okay, so. Looking at the dipstick here, as you can see, I put 3.7, around 3.7, so it's just gone over the max, which is here, and that bit should go into the oil filter, and then this will go down. So I'm just going to wipe this, and I'm going to show you the minimum will be here, and the maximum will be here so minimum and maximum and you want your oil to be usually on the on the max side of things there is uh, min and max especially if you're changing your oil just now you want it to be in the max generally checking the oil during the year maybe if you if he's using a little bit of oil it will go down a bit but that's, this area here is acceptable And that's pretty much it, so hope this video helps and thanks for watching.